Okay, once you've installed your Veristroke 1 service tool and connected to the unit, you'll navigate to the icon that's now on your desktop labeled VS1 service tool. Open that up. You'll get an introductory page giving you some information about the service tool, the version and part number and fir firmware that it is. You'll click connect. If this is your first time connecting to Veristroke, or if you have multiple communication ports, you may get a prompt asking you to select the appropriate communication port and then to click connect and it will bring you to the screens that I'm at now. Once you've connected, you'll get to a system information page. On this page you'll see some information down the left that will stay with you through your entire experience in the service tool, telling you the status overview, whether it is shut down or has an alarm, its current operating mode, demand and feedback, and if available, there'll be some action buttons in this pane here allowing you to shut the unit down. This will also let you navigate through the most used pages on the service tool. The system information page contains some information about not only the hardware, but the software. It gives you the part number of your actuator, the serial number of your actuator, the part number and serial number of your, the driver in, within your actuator, this one I can see, you can see is blanked out. And also the part number and serial number of just the servo. This will also give you the, the part number and revision of your firmware. It will also give you some information on the current status of the unit, on what it's being a position demand and its position feedback. You can also click the start button on this trend tool. This will show you a trend of the position of the unit. At the top of the service tool, you'll find some typical Windows-based menus that you'll see in most Windows-based software. It's important to take note that some of the things in these drop-down menus will not be used for the purposes of Veristroke due to the fact that Toolkit is used on many other product lines besides Veristroke. But we'll be going over some of the functions that you will be using later on in this training. Below that menu, you'll see some buttons here you can use this button to open other service tools should you need to. This button will save all of the values that you have input into the configuration and calibration fields. This button will act as a back or forward button to help you navigate through the pages of the service tool should you want to go back or forward to, to various pages you've been to. These buttons here will be it, provide another method of navigation through the service tool which will allow you to go forward and backwards on from page to page. You can also use this drop down menu which will display all of the names of each individual page that we'll be going through. 